Journey of an Amish Man Images and Thoughts of Edgar David Bouchard This image taken in Knockliffe Mountain Range near an old Aborigine site reflects the multiverse theory that is current in modern scientific jargon but it is simply an image of a lineup of oil can caps in the knock in the Namib desert of Namibia. Again it kind of reflects the the grand universe, the large and the micro, the small. Here is many universes with black holes, but it's also simply rusted can tops, the oxidation of steel, and the many colors from the impurities in that steel that result from simple processes that occur around us on this earth. This image uh, taken in the Takamakan Desert of Western China is a rare example of a mosque that incorporates the dual characteristics of two religions, Buddhism and Islam. This is the entrance to the mosque which contains symbolism in both Arabic and in Buddhist texts. Along the outer edges are reverse swastika forms, while the writing over the main arch of the mosque is in Arabic. This image is entitled Tall Ship Japan. Uh, it is a picture of the many-masted prize tall ship of the Japanese Navy, which is often presented in um, festivals around the world. The picture itself has been manipulated a small amount to give a more uh, bizarro uh, style finish so as to blend the blues with the greens and the whites into a softer, more traditional, almost painterly style. The picture itself was taken in Hudson Harbor of New York during one of New York's tall ship festivals. This image of a butterfly alighting on a very white banister simply represents nature mixing and mingling with human construction and structure and our everyday life. However, the yellow, the brilliance of the color, again, reflects nature's infinite creativity in the range of colors that are used by its creatures. From the book, Color Travels Through the Paint Box, written by Victoria Finley. I agree with her observation that people's attempts over the years to reproduce nature's effortless colors often have been accidental. She points out in her book, Color, that almost all dyes and pigments are poor imitations, pastiches, each of the colors found in nature. Our human senses, not just our eyesight, are bombarded by a hodgepodge of impressions that are sorted and filed and resurrected and rearranged again when needed to push our existence forward on the journey. And part of the information that I treat as key to my rational decisions is not only the structural integrity of objects roundabout, but also color. Colors appeal to us I believe because they awaken some deep instinct in our brains to something that transcends the material, says Finley. This image 
is a photograph of one of the large 20 to 30 foot tall moai on the Easter Island in the South Pacific right at sunset looking directly into the sunshine as the shadow makes clear. The red hats are enormous stone sculptures that somehow were placed on the heads of these stone statues made of a certain kind of red rock that can be found in only a few exclusive places scattered about the island. The eyes were painted by the original natives to give the stone statue the ability to guard the island from its position on the shore. This is one of my more popular images with viewers, although very few people can guess what it is. It's actually the China Nets off the Arabian Sea along the western coast of India. These are greenish, large, very large nets on long wooden poles that are lowered by weights, by adjusting of levers and pulleys off the shore into the water and then raised again, catching whatever is passing by in the sea at that time um, into its folds and then transferred to market. This is at sunset off the Kerala coast. I'm a traveler just as you are. I write to and for others like me. My journey was and will be different from yours, but there are things, places, experiences and thoughts we share in a lifetime. We, you and I, live together on a planet of infinite diversity and complexity, sharing a much larger universe full of more wonders, very large and very tiny. There are things that can be visualized easily, but other elements of existence are more enigmatic and not easily described.